Welcome to the Auto Catalyst Market Channel. Now we'd like to tell you more about automotive catalysts and their purpose. On our planet, there are about 1.5 billion cars with an internal combustion engine which produce toxic gases, carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, nitrogen oxides. The task of the automotive catalyst is to reduce the amount of these harmful substances. So, how does the catalyst work? Each catalyst consists of a metal case, usually made of heat-resistant or stainless steel. There is a thermal gasket on its inner walls. Inside the case, there is a ceramic or metal monolith serving as a cellular structure. These ceramic or metal cells are coated with a platinum group of metals – platinum, palladium and rhodium. When the heated exhaust gases, which is 750 to 900 degrees Celsius, enter the catalytic converter, a chemical reaction occurs between the gases and the coating of precious metal, which reduces their toxicity. As a result, less harmful substances come out of the car's exhaust pipe, or the exhaust gases completely disintegrate into carbon dioxide, nitrogen and oxygen. The catalyst in the car reduces the harmful impact on the environment so the driver needs to monitor its conditions. There are three types of catalysts, depending on the material of the monolith. Metal, ceramic and a diesel particulate filter DPF. Metal and ceramic catalysts have the same function but are produced in different ways. The metal catalyst consists of metal blocks made from foil. It's 0.05 to 0.1 millimeters thick it helps to form a cellular structure. The metal carrier is considered more durable under mechanical influences and impacts, but more expensive in production. Ceramic blocks of catalysts have a cellular structure. They are made from silicon carbide or aluminium oxide. One part may have up to 8,000 channels, which may increase the area of contact of gases with the contact surface. Remember that ceramic catalysts are not resistant to mechanical influences. Sometimes the cells componing this unit crack or shatter into small crumbs from a blow while driving. In addition to a ceramic or metal catalyst, there may be a diesel particulate filter in the car's exhaust system. It's also called DPF. Remember that particulate filters are installed on cars with a diesel engine only. We will tell you more about the operation and structure of the particulate filter in another video. It's important to note that European countries take care of the environment and try to reduce the amount of harmful substances released into the atmosphere. So, the catalyst must be in the car, otherwise the car owner will be heavily fined. Many cities simply do not allow cars that do not meet the latest Euro 6 and Euro 6D standards. According to the Euro 6 standards, Carbon dioxide emissions from new passenger cars should not exceed 130 grams per kilometer of travel. Despite the expensive materials, any catalyst has a limited service life. It averages 10 years or 100,000 kilometers of mileage. And damage, poor quality fuel or a faulty ignition system will further reduce the operating time of this component. As a result, it's necessary to replace the catalyst because the engine may not work properly. It's better not to save on the exhaust system and install a new one instead of a faulty catalyst, hand over the old one and get a partial refund. The Auto Catalyst Market Service will help you find out the cost of an old catalyst and find a company for its delivery. On the website, you will quickly find the tariffs, the costs of the catalysts and the contacts of those who accept the worked-out catalytic converter. Subscribe to the channel to learn more about catalysts. Support the video by clicking on the like button and by leaving questions in the comments section.